Despite being at the forefront of political media and scientific media for the past 20 to 25 years, there are still those who do not seem to think that climate change is an active issue that they should care about or something that they should be constantly contributing to. While that does not make them bad people or make their uninterest unjustifiable, this will hopefully shed some light on the true issues and the true effects that the climate change is having and inspire those to take action and it will be shown how action can be taken in order to better the future of the planet for everybody. The areas shown in red are locations of coral reefs throughout planet Earth. Coral reefs have arguably been hit the hardest by climate change out of any other ecosystem in the ocean or on land. When healthy, coral reefs are one of the most beautiful and diverse ecosystems on planet Earth. They host a wide variety of fish, invertebrates, and other sorts of species, and are an absolutely natural beauty. Unfortunately, due to the warming waters, the animal that lives inside the coral, known as Zeus and Thele, is ejecting itself, causing the coral to lose its source of food and die. When these corals die, any animals that rely on them for food or protection or hunting grounds are then forced away and often don't find new homes. Coral reefs are not the only habitat that's continuing to struggle. The Antarctic and Arctic ice shelves, which are giant pieces of ice that sit on top of land masses, have been melting at a faster rate than ever in the past 15 years, and are constantly breaking apart and adding to rising sea levels. The only way that you can really try to put it into scale with human reference is if you imagine Manhattan. And all of a sudden, all of those buildings just start to rumble and quake and peel off and just fall over and fall over and roll around. This whole massive city just breaking apart in front of your eyes. That clip shows just the sheer scale up which these massive pieces of ice are melting. Some of these ice shelves are over millions of years old. And of course everyone has seen pictures of polar bears stranded on floating pieces of ice as their habitat continues to melt. And while it may be a joke to some people, or have become a joke over time with the severity of it not being clear since we don't live next to polar bears, these polar bears are being forced to swim farther and farther to find food. They rely on these ice shelves for hunting grounds and protection. These are risking polar bears' cubs live more than ever, and their population can use to dwindle. Apex predators are some of the most important members of any ecosystem, and without them, the entire Arctic ecosystem could collapse in on itself and millions and more species would die. While some people may find polar bears hard to relate to, California and other areas in the western United States have been basically becoming a giant hotbed for wildfires over the past five years, and have seen an increase in almost 60% of wildfires of a thousand acres or larger since the 1990s. These fires are increasing in destructiveness also due to the drought that California is experiencing from climate change. This footage shows just the sheer destructive force that these wildfires can have. Millions of homes destroyed and hundreds of people injured constantly by these widespread California wildfires. And as the earth continues to heat, water is becoming scarcer and scarcer in California and areas prone to these kinds of wildfires are growing by the day. These issues may seem so big that there is nothing any individual can do, and unfortunately they are only a fraction of the issues that the entire Earth is facing right now. But there are things that everybody in this world can do, and they're just little things that can help the entire planet. One of the most obvious ones being reduce, reuse, and recycle. There is so much CO2 pumped in the atmosphere from just creating plastic and metal goods, and by just recycling or using the ones you already have, you can reduce the amount of CO2 that is pumped because companies will not need to make as much if people are not buying them. Also, reselling your clothes or buying used items that you don't really need new ones of can also help reduce your individual carbon footprint. The other somewhat obvious answer being to switch up driving habits. While everyone can't necessarily afford to buy a shiny new fully electric Tesla, we can all make small choices that can impact our amount, how much gas we use and how much CO2 we put out. One of the simplest things people can do when driving that I don't think people realize is reducing the amount that you speed and eliminating unnecessary acceleration. This reduces the amount of gas consumed by your car and therefore reduces the amount of CO2 expelled by your car. There are hundreds of ways people, people can get involved other than the two mentioned previously. In the description below there are links to websites that will show you hundreds of other ways that you can make small changes to greatly impact your carbon footprint and reduce the over amount of CO2 put into the atmosphere. 
Planet Earth is the one thing we cannot replace. And every, it is up to everybody to get involved and make their own small changes because if everybody makes a small change in their life, then it can lead to large changes throughout the rest of the world and save millions of species and millions of people's lives.